Well, glad you could join me. It's a beautiful day here, and I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. What I got here is a pre-stretched canvas 16 by 20. What I did was I made a line here and I covered the bottom half with black gesso. The top half I used a very thin coat of liquid white. What I was going to do today is a Florida scene, maybe with some sky that's a little bit more orange. Going to do some palm trees, some waves coming in, not no big waves, some smaller ones. Maybe some clouds here, and maybe some seagulls coming in. So this is the way it is right now, and everything you need to know is going to come across the screen right up here. All the colors and any information. So let's get started. Let's start out with some sky color. I'm going to use some phthalo blue. On a two inch brush, a little bit on the, right on the top of it. Just a little bit. Start out in the corners, crisscross strokes. Maybe over here. Add a little bit more color, tapping it. Want it to be a little darker. A little darker in the corners. And as you blend it in with the liquid white, it's going to get lighter as it gets towards the horizon. Add a little bit more. Tapping. Yeah, that's more like it. What we want to do is we want to put some orange in the sky too. So we don't want to blend it all in. We want to have some openings. Here and there and there and here. Wherever you think it might be. Okay, um, use an odorless paint there. Cleaning my brush right now. Back off all the excess. And come in some orange. Orange color. Just a little bit on the brush. A little bit on a two inch brush. What we're going to do is start out in here and maybe a little bit. Maybe down here, we'll make the sun. So we're going to put that all in there. All the way down. All the way down to the water line. Because if you notice, in nature, that the sky, the color will go right down to the water line when you're seeing the horizon or the sunset. Now we're going to take a blender brush. We're going to blend it all in. You can hear I'm kind of rubbing hard because of the thin coat of liquid clear. You don't want it to be thick on there because everything seems to go better. It seems to blend better when it's a thin, thin coat and it's not too thick. See how that looks? Now we're going to take the blue and blend it in. Blend it down. Right down to the horizon. Blend it into the your darker colors of your sky. And that's just about what we're looking for. Here and there and there and here. If you notice the sky is kind of breaking up and that's what you want because in nature it's not all the same the sky it's different it's darker and lighter now what we're going to do is we're going to put some 
we're going to put some we're going to put the sun in what I'm doing is I'm taking my finger dabbing it with the orange paint maybe a little bit of yellow get it a little bit lighter lighter color like a like an orange but a lighter orange more yellow want to figure out what we want the sun and we'll just dab it in maybe make the sun go right right like it's sun like it's a sunset just blend it in maybe add a little bit more yellow your paintbrush <laughs> you can make it as light or as dark as you want it you don't want the sun to be too too big though in nature in nature it's not real big there okay now we're going to take the two inch or the blender brush that we use for the sky we're going to blend the sun in pull away from the middle pull out you're going to get that yellow color that we put on there I hope you can see this because it's just about what I wanted to create just pull it out just like the way the sun rays the rays would look in the sun. We use a little bit more yellow, maybe a little bit of liquid white. Just put it in there. Lighten it up. Take the blender brush again and pull out. that look sometimes you want to step back and look at it get a little bit a little bit better if it doesn't seem to right it doesn't seem quite right to you that's more paint it's your world you can make it as light or as dark as you want it Taking the blender brush again, I'm blending it out. Pulling it. Get the rays. The ray of the sun. Okay, now we're going to take a two inch fan brush. We're going to load up some titanium white to make some clouds. Titanium white and some orange we want the sky to have that orange look to it and I'm going to add some cadmium yellow bright red cadmium yellow tapping it on the fan brush up here maybe we'll have some clouds right here maybe these will go right in to that orange get some of that reflection of the orange you know how clouds go across the sky add some more same colors can add a little bit more red 
down at the bottoms, get that highlight coming in of the clouds. More yellow, get it more of a orange or orange color. You can make your clouds here and there and there and here, right across. Maybe down here, and it's your world. Maybe because of the sun and the way it looks, these clouds are going to be more yellow because they're picking up the sun. These here are going to be the darker because of the sun. It's getting that orange look to it. These are just circular strokes. You can make them as big or as small as you want. Put as many in or as few in. What we're going to do is we're doing this, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to come back and we're going to blend it in with our blender brush. Because you want to leave these top edge alone on the clouds. We're going to blend the bottom half, and you'll see, just blend it in, barely tapping, barely tapping, barely touching, kind of bringing it all in together. Once we do this, we're going to lift it up the way the clouds look in nature, where they got that fluffy look. They got that look of uh, cotton. I'm just using the edge of my brush right here on the corner. I'm just circular, doing a circular motion. All the way across. Clean the brush off a little bit. Get the excess off, and you're going to lift up. Just lift it up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that same fan brush, and I'm cleaning it off. So I'm going to go into just plain titanium white, load it up on the brush, both sides. We're going to come in here and we're going to add some white clouds too. Turn the brush over. Here and there and there and here. Load it up again. add some white ones on top. Sometimes in the clouds there are all kinds of different colors when it's the sun setting. They got the white, the colors to the sky, they got everything happening. And it's whatever you think. However you think it should look, is exactly how it should look. Because it's your world. You can make as many, as few as you want. Just like what I'm doing here. Okay, we're going to do the same thing like we did before. Just take the corner of the brush, blend it in. Try to leave that top edge alone because that's what gives you that look of the clouds. makes it so nice. Once you learn how to paint, you just look at nature in a different way. You look at the clouds different, you'll see them in a different way too. 
it's almost like you'll pay more attention to just exactly how they look. Okay, with that, I'm going to take a liner brush, looks like this here, and I'm going to drop in some seagulls. That's always uh, it's always fun to do. Gonna take some black and a little bit of white to make a gray color. Maybe a darker gray. Hopefully so. It'll be easier for you to stay at home. Or wherever you're watching it. Load the brush up. Let's say our seagulls are going to be over here. We'll put one. Just tap it. And then make your... Make your brush line for the... the way it's flying. The angle of its maybe yeah, there'll be one here. Maybe he's flying a different angle. It's coming in that way. And normally when you're doing anything with oil painting or any, any kind of paintings you want to have odd numbers three nine most of the time it's never even numbers maybe one more right here right where this opening is maybe he's flying more straight because of his wings all there is to it. I'm going to dab this one a little bit better here. There you go. That looks pretty good to me. Clean the brush off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the fan brush with titanium white little bit on the end. I'm going to come in here and start making some waves. Just like that. I'm going to do a rocking motion. So right where the sun would be, I'm going to tap it. That's what you want. If you want that area to be brightest there. You want it to glow. All I'm doing is tapping. And I'm leaving space. Turn the brush over. You want to leave gaps in between. You don't want to fill it all in. Because it looks like there's waves back there. If you don't. It's not all Paint it in. A little bit more paint. Tap. And through here you want it to glisten a little bit more. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to create an illusion. An illusion of what it actually looks like. So we're just tapping this for right now until we get what we're looking for. What you can do in this part of it too, take some of that paint off and use the same colors almost like you did for the sky. And we're going to tap it because we want to bring out that color in the waves that you would see.
that you would see in nature, how the reflection comes off. Right like that. Here and there. There and here. A little bit more yellow. Tapping it. And you just tap it down. Wherever you think. Wherever you think the light is going to hit. Create that illusion. Maybe it's darker in some areas. Basically, basically we want to create a little bit of titanium white now and the yellow. I want to make it a little bit brighter yellow there. In the true world, like I always say, you can put in as much as you want, anything you want. It's like you're creating, you're creating the picture. I'm gonna clean this brush off again because I want to get, want to get just get mostly white. Mostly white on the brush now. Filling it both sides. Just like that. Now we can come in. What I did was, on top of the black gesso, I put a thin coat of liquid clear. Then what I did is I mixed some phalo green and phalo blue to get it that green color of the ocean. So when I put the white on, it's going to pull out that green color look. And that's what you'll probably see here and there and there and here. It won't be, won't be pure white. And then down the middle here, I added some of the color of the sky, of the sun setting. And you just want to put it here and there and there and here, like, like, like the waves look. Because in, the, in nature, out, out in the ocean, the waves are coming in and they're going out. And there's always openings in between. Just back and forth. Wherever you think. Okay, we're going to take some of that orange color again, some yellow, same brush, then clean it. I'm going to come in here and bring up some color in here, some highlight. Highlight from the waves. And back here we can kind of blend some of this in, just barely. Barely tapping. Barely. 
barely tapping. Right down here. A little bit more lighter color, maybe some orange. Whatever you think. Just to get that illusion. Because that's what you're trying to do. And that motion, the rocking motion of the water. Just think of the water and what it would do. How it comes in. How it breaks. I think a little bit more yellow and a little bit of titanium white. I want it to be a little bit more, a little bit brighter here. Right in here. Like a little sparkle. A little bit more titanium white. Tap it. Get that that wavy look. The waves coming in. You can blend it out here too because that's where the that's where the sun's going to hit some of the other waves further out. Kind of bring it all together. Because if you ever notice in nature the sun's hitting and it's bouncing. It's coming all over. It's just not coming right down the middle. You'll see it over here, over there. It kind of flavors it. Kind of all over. And that looks pretty good. On what I'm thinking. I'm just going to tap on this a little bit more. Maybe add some titanium white. A little bit of white. See when you're doing this, that's what you're going to find out. You're going to see what, see what what works, what you're trying to create and say, no, that's not it, let me try this. And you'll say, oh yeah, that's perfect. And I'm going to do that as I come down here too. Maybe there's some waves coming right in. Right in. Okay, now I'm going to take the same fan brush loaded up with titanium white and we're going to decide where the waves are coming in. Just tapping it with the corner. What I'm trying to do is create the illusion of waves coming in. So wherever you think there's a wave. That's exactly where it is. Maybe we'll put a little one here. Maybe some of the white caps are are hitting a little bit more. It's a little bit more white. Maybe there's one right here. It's wherever you see it. Maybe that comes right across. Add more white. Maybe there's some out here that's breaking off in the distance. You can barely see them, but you know they're out there. You know they're breaking. You can almost make sounds, make it more real. Kind of put yourself in that picture. Just put it here and there and there and here. I think I'm going to put one right here. Maybe a little bit right here. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to blend it back. Make it look like the illusion of waves coming in. All I'm doing is taking it and pulling it back away from where that white cap would be coming in. And you can see how it breaks it. Makes it look like it's part of the wave. You'll see on the other ones that I'm going to do up close. Some of these you're not going to see as well because they're further out. And we'll take some of this same color and we're going to pull it up. Because what we want to do is get a reflection here. Reflection. of the sun hitting the beach area. Down here also I added some brown color, like a Van Dyke brown. So when you add these colors, I'm loading it up with titanium white and cadmium yellow to get that reflection because I already put some of that orange color down in there. You just want to pull up until you feel like you got what you're looking for, for like the reflection of on the on the beach, because your wave is going to be coming in. Now you're going to take titanium white and liquid white, load it up, load it up on the brush. Then I'm going to take some of that orange color. I'm going to make a wave. I want the wave to have a little bit of flavor to it because of the reflection of the sun. So let's say one of our waves is coming in here. Let's, let's put it right here. Let's say it's just crashing right here. A little bit more white. Maybe it goes right off. More white, more red, yellow. Turning over here. Now I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to come back in and pull this now. Because if you notice, there'd be, there'd be crashing in. So you want it to have that. over. And some more liquid white under the fan brush. want to highlight this a little bit more with the white. Still got the color in there. That gives it that little spark that you're looking for. Right where it's breaking. Turn the brush over. Then down here, we're going to make it a little bit foamy. That's the way it looks. It's got all that stuff happening down there. So right here where it's starting to turn, we're going to make it like the clouds.
blender brush. We're going to do like we did the clouds to make it foamy looking and circular motion. And then blend it all in. Give it that foamy look. Where it's coming in and it's all that. All that water that's turned up. Maybe here we'll put some more. Even that gap in between. Because it gives it depth. Looks like it's rolling over and there's another wave right behind it. And you always have that foamy. It's kind of all over. It's all broken up. It's more foam than some places. And Take the blender brush again, just barely. Barely tapping it. What you're doing is you're just taking the edge off. You want to leave some of those dark spots in there because that's the way the foam looks when it comes in and it crashes. You got all those foamy. Maybe in our world there's another one. There's another wave that come in here. Do the same thing, leaving a gap in between. Add some more white. Highlight it where it might be breaking. Maybe this goes right off. Maybe this comes over here. Tapping it, the corner of the brush, so it breaks, finishes its break. Cleaning my brush off a bit. I'm going to come here and once it starts breaking here, you want to pull this down like we did that back, back wave. Just barely. Leave that edge alone like we did in the clouds. And just barely pull. And that can just pull. That goes right into the shallows, into the water, to the shallow part. Maybe here's where it starts to break. Maybe here's where it's all foamy. Just tapping it. Tapping it with the brush. Same brush. Here and there, there and here. I'm going to take that blender brush again. Pull that in. Get all that foamy foaminess going. Need those dark spots. Pull this. Because this is where all your Your last wave is coming in. Now you could take some titanium white on this big brush here, this blender brush. Load it up and start at the bottom and pull up. What that does 
it gives, gives you that look of the sun hitting and reflection and just go straight across get that little sharpness there going take the fan brush again and load it up with some color like uh, cadmium yellow and some bright red so what you want to do is you want to highlight this right about where the sun's coming maybe some more white just like that see it's not no big deal just pull it up knock the excess off straight across. Now what we're going to do is take titanium white and a palette knife and load up some titanium white on the palette knife and we're going to come in here and make some other little waves coming. Just taking the knife and just scraping it in. So all I'm going to do is, I'm just setting it on the canvas and just running it across like that. Canvas is taking the paint. Just like that. Take the blender brush again. Come in here and pull back on those. Just what you did on those other waves. Barely, barely, barely. You're almost not even touching it at all. You got that edge going through there. So that's another wave. Okay, you got your beach, you got your clouds, you got your... Now what we need to do is get some palm trees and we're going to use a fan brush with some Van Dyke Brown. We want to get that palm tree look and we're going to use some ye uh, yellow ochre. Van Dyke Brown, yellow ochre. Just a color that you might be looking for. I think in this painting we're going to put a couple of trees, maybe two here and one here. You're going to tap down. Let's say your first one is here. You're going to tap down. Bring it all the way down. Maybe your other one is right here. Wherever you think. And that's right where it should be. Maybe it's going to come right down in front of the front of the wave a little bit. Loading the color up again. Maybe over here we can have one right here. Kind of going off. Kind of going out of the painting. Load up the fan brush again. And you're going to pull down. Pull down with the thickness that you think the base or the trunk of the palm tree would look. Or the thickness of it. How big you want it. I guess in other words, just your the size of your tree. Palm trees are all different sizes. Some of them are real big. Now what I'm gonna do is take some white, titanium white, on the same color. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight 
just tap it. Get that reflection. What you're doing is you're tapping and kind of pulling in a circular motion. Kind of like a half a circle. You want to do that on the same side because the sun's coming from this angle. Just giving it that look, the reflection. Load back up with a darker color because on a palm tree they got all those area on the top where the palms have fallen off. So it's kind of thicker. It kind of looks just like that. A lot of this will be covered in. But we know it's there. And we know that that's the way it should look. Cleaning my brush off now with odorless paint thinner. And I'm going to load up some green color, set green, phthalo green. A little bit of liquid clear. Liquid clear is going to make it easier to go on. because a thin paint will stick to a thick paint every time. We're going to load the brush up just like that. We're going to start making our, our palms. It's not a palm tree, there's a lot of palms. We're just going to tap down. Right, every, right where you think it should be is right where it should be. Maybe that one comes right in front of the sun. Maybe this one is here there, there. I think this tree is going to have quite a few. And they're all different sizes. Load up some more paint. Maybe there's one there. Start on the other one in the back. Maybe this is goes up higher. Goes right off the canvas. That's the fun thing about painting. It's your world. You can take as many, as few, have them go off the canvas, fill it in like that. I always like doing this first because it's a lot easier than I just pull from that. Maybe this one here, we'll have it go right down in front of the seagulls. Goes right down into the water. these palms come up there. Comes right off the canvas. Comes right down. Maybe another one here. Maybe another one right in front. And if that's the way you got it looking, that's more paint. Just like that. And then what I'll start over here. What we're going to start doing is we're going to pull down and make them as long or as short as we want. Just barely pull it down. The paint that's on there, it's going to give you your palm look. How long your palms are. See if I go shorter, they're shorter. Some of them are short like that. The longer you pull down, the longer they are. Maybe in here, just some little ones. Add some more paint. Maybe on this one here, they're, they're on both sides. And some of them are going to be on both sides. And I'm going to do that on probably most of them. Because in nature, 
the palms are on both sides. It's just that you don't see both sides all the time. Because it's the angle that you're looking at. Madden a little bit more liquid clear. Maybe in here. It's thicker. See how I pull it down? How it just grabs that? Maybe those are just a little. Maybe here. I'm going to go all one side first. Here. And I'll come over here and do this side. Palm trees are just like all over. I mean, you don't have to be perfect. Nature isn't perfect. Maybe here I'm going to pull some up. Yeah, get that look. That full look. You know, the more you paint, the more you're going to figure out different things on what works for you. Goes right down into the sun. These are some thick, healthy palm trees. Here and there and there and here, wherever you think. Kind of got them crossing in front of each other. Makes it look fuller. More like the way nature looks. But this, see how easy this is? All I'm doing is tapping. I'm not doing nothing special. I'm just pulling up where you might think it would be. Finish this tree. And if you might, if you think you might have made a mistake, you really didn't. You can always just cover it up. That one goes right off. They're all different sizes. You can make some bigger, smaller. So in nature, they're kind of... Trees don't always grow perfect. You got all kinds of different shades happening too. Some of it darker, lighter. Missing some spots. This one. And if you see something you're not really happy with, just go back and fill it in. Like right in here, I see too much light in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap some stuff in there. Make it look fuller. Maybe here. Wherever you think it might be. Kind of blends that in. Over here, same thing. Is it that thick look? And when you're at home or wherever you're at, you can work on this as much as you want. Kind of like what I'm doing here. I'm seeing something and I'm changing it. Just like that. 
pretty full looking palm tree. Got the waves coming in. And we're almost at a finished painting. We're going to take now as that liner brush. In the corner I usually like sign and mine. With my last name you can sign yours however you'd like. A lot of people will put their initials in or whatever. I use uh, liquid white and the lighter, the lighter color of the, the painting. So it shows up. And I put my name right down here. And you want to put the year in. 2012. So people kind of know what year, what year it was painted. And you can just keep going and adding. I see something right now that I'm going to take some yellow. some green, add some liquid clear, and some titanium white. Load it on the brush. I'm going to come in and highlight. Maybe where the maybe where the sun maybe where the sun is hitting. Just a little bit here and there. Tapping down. Just tapping down and pulling. There and here and here and there. Wherever you might think. And you can just blend it in. a little bit of that happening. Just tap it. You almost really don't need to do any any highlighting. Just tap it. And that's your highlight. Just like that. Maybe some over here. Maybe some got on the edge. Highlight. And you can diffuse it by just tapping. If you want. Sometimes it's brighter in some spots. The reflection, the glare hits off of it. Oh, 
but you can just keep working on it. You can just keep going and going and going. Well, I hope you enjoyed this painting. It was a little different. I used some different colors than I don't normally use. But with the waves a little bit, not as big. It's just a different view and we use using a different clouds with the oranges. Makes it a little different. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you come back and see me. And uh, have a nice day.